What's up guys, Hong, OG Fitness. And um, a, a thought crossed my mind. And I was thinking to myself, you know, the gyms are eventually gonna open, probably a little bit pre prematurely. And it's gonna be different because they won't be able to let as much people in at the same time. They're probably gonna have to hire more staff, you know, or well, the gyms that are careful anyway to clean up to constantly be cleaning after the machines, the weights and all that. So it's gonna be kind of kind of um, uh, different for sure and risky, you know, for the people who like jump right into it. So the way I I see it, and I'm a trainer guys, right? I That's what I do for a living. I train people in a gym and I enjoyed the shit out of it. <clears throat> it's my thing, right? But I for a while, like uh, I was thinking of eventually you know, going online too, you know, doing other stuff, YouTube and doing online. So that way I could free up my time because if all you do is train people in person, I mean, there's only, um, well, you run out of time. That's what it is, you know, and then to make a, a half decent living, uh, if you're a trainer, then you gotta be booked like at least 40, 50 hours a week, man. You know, and that's, that's a lot of, of, of talking, man. Cause all you're doing is talking. And on top of that, you're not getting paid, uh, when you're preparing your programs and you're looking over their nutrition and all that. If you look at their nutrition, which I started doing by the way, uh, towards the end, but then, you know, everything got shut down. Anyways, that being said, I was already about to transition online anyway. So here's the thing, right? When the gym's open again, I don't think I'm going to go back right away. Like if I do go back. Well, definitely, uh, I, I will most likely if I have to, right? Obviously, because we all need to make money and all that. And some people much prefer in-person training versus uh, online training, right? But the thing is, I won't go back right away. And now that being said, even for my own training, right? I don't think I'm going to, I feel as though at this point now with the results I'm getting, the way I'm training, I don't think I need a gym anymore, guys. You know, like now I'm getting into it and like I already know how to do calisthenics. I've done a lot of calisthenic work before. I mean, there's a lot of it in martial arts, you know, in general, right? And after that, through, um, you know, my own readings and my own studyings and my own experimenting and stuff like that. And of course, with the knowledge base that I already do have in terms of training and all, I mean, you could stay in really good shape with very minimal equipment, right? I'm not saying you don't need resistance. You definitely need resistance to get stronger, to get bigger, to build muscle endurance and all that. Okay, but honestly, you don't need a gym, so to say, if you know what you're doing, right? Like, all I have to work with right now is a 30 pound kettlebell, right? Uh, the floor, <laughs> my body weight, uh, some, some bars and some trees that I can hang off of, you know, when I'm outside, like running around. And, and that's it, man. And I gotta tell you, and of course I have dummy, right, that I bought recently, so that's good for, that's, that's gonna be good until uh, we get back into judo, because once we get back into judo, I'll still use them, right? But I mean, I'll probably use them a little bit less. Right now, I'm planning to use them uh, to throw them around maybe twice a week, right? And, oh, and by the way, my back is okay today, right? I slept eight hours, I'm up, and uh, it's all good. Like, my, my back that I tweaked yesterday, because I didn't warm up when I when I brought down the dummy to throw him around. But it's okay now. So thank God for that, you know, hallelujah. But I still won't make that mistake next time. Next time I'm gonna warm up properly. So what I'm trying to say is that I don't believe that I need to go back to the gym to, to get to the level that I want to get to physically, right? So that I could perform for judo. Because once again, guys, I'm not about size at all, right? Like I enjoy having a little bit of muscle mass, of course, because it makes you look good and and of course, there's always a little bit of vanity uh, in me, right? <laughs> For those who, <laughs> actually, they used to be quite a bit, but you know, less and less as I get older, I care less about that. But I still think that it's it's good to look good just so that you feel good about yourself, right? Not taking to any extremes, but it's good to be comfortable in your own skin, to be happy the way you are, um, physically in the mirror, naked, you know, and stuff like that. So, and uh, I don't need the gym to, to, to maintain what I have at this point, or even to build it up to build it up to this point. I mean, I, I could probably build this up with, um, you know, with body weight, calisthenics, and a little bit of uh, with a kettlebell. You really don't need much. Like if you know what you're doing, eh, you don't need much. So all that to say that I might not 
go back to the gym to, uh, to, to train people. At least not right away, not when they just open up and, and everybody jumps uh, right back into it. I'm going to wait for those suckers to jump in, see who dies and see how many people catch it. Then we'll see from there, right? And also for myself, like, I really believe that at this point, I could see it now. I could feel it. I, I, I notice the difference in terms of strength, endurance. Uh, I look in the mirror, I see the size come in and all that. And you know, a lot of it has to do with just um, training properly, eating properly, getting enough rest, hydration levels, and stuff like that. And, and from there, I mean, yeah, I really don't think I need to go back to the gym, man. You know, and it's so much more functional for me. Like, unless I have a, a muscle that I, could, I need to rehab, but even at that, you can do everything with bands now, man. Like, if you know what you're doing, you just need bands, a couple of dumbbells, and that's it. Like, why even go to the gym? Unless you're going there just to socialize. So what I'm saying is that the whole purpose of this video was to really talk about, well, do you really need a gym to begin with? I don't think so anymore. I used to think that, no, like, I do believe that it's a tool like anything else. And the more tools you have, uh, the better it is, right? Like you use the tools, uh, the more tools you have, you use the right tool for the right uh, situation, so to speak, right? And, uh, but in my case, as a martial artist, and as most of you guys who are watching this, right? You don't need a gym, man. You need some very minimal equipment, you know, some bands, some body weight, some know-how, of course, you know, uh, maybe a kettle, uh, kettlebell or a pair of dumbbells here and there. And that's all you need, man. That's really all you need, you know, and uh, you can progress your way up to like a, a very good level of, of uh, physical conditioning of strength and size and all that, right? Because you guys have to remember one thing when it comes to mus building muscle, right? It's about time under tension. Of course, there has to be enough tension, you know, like it can't be like ridiculously weak, but you could adjust that. You could adjust that with, uh, through your body positioning, right? The use of leverage, right? And of course you could use different types of bands and, uh, and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, man, and, and that's it. And after that, it's about recuperation and about eating. That's it. That's all it is, you know? Of course, you gotta train hard, so you have to train at least 80% of uh, maximum capacity. 80 is like really the, the lowest you go, uh, but the harder you train, you know, over time, like 80, 85, 90, whatever, and that's it. It's about training hard, time under tension, and of course, some other um, principles of training, but I don't think I need to go back to the gym anymore, man. At this point, I'm, I'm really sold on just uh, doing it through minimum equipment, right? So that means pull-up bar, what, my 30 pound kettlebell, some, uh, some uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, some bands, right? Now, there is one thing though, I'm not sure about, maybe the legs, guys, maybe the legs, right? But even then, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure yet. But uh, anyways, this quarantine, this, this whole thing, this pandemic is gonna be here for a little while, so let's not kid ourselves. So I'll, I'll figure it out, you know, because I still need strong legs, strong glutes, strong lower body, essentially, because it's part of uh, uh, like being efficient and in my sport in judo. So I got to keep that. But as of now, it still looks good, man. So anyways, OK, I'm going to it's been about eight minutes now. So like the video if you liked it. And uh, this video, I'm going to call it. Do you really need a gym or not? <laughs> at this point, right? Because I'm getting so used to to not having a gym anymore and I'm still doing okay. I'm doing really good actually because I'm, I'm consistent, I'm training, I have, you know, I have a lot of time to sleep and all that. So I'm, I'm making these, these gains, right? Even though I'm not really about gains, not in the, the, the bro sense, but I'm getting them nonetheless. And I'm getting stronger, getting more flexible and stuff like that. So there's, there's a lot of things and also doing a lot of body weight things like it helps you to better control your body. You have more body awareness, right? So, which is which is amazing, which is something that's really important in martial arts, right? So lifting weights is good, but um, I don't think I need to anymore, man. You know, I'm, I've done my time at the gym and stuff like that. Not to say that I'll never go back to a gym. I probably will, because I have to film videos and show my clients the ones who do want to train in the gym. But I'm just saying, me, myself, personally, Man, I don't need it. I don't need it. If I don't need it, then why even waste my time, you know? Like I only go there just to uh, uh, 
well, film videos or train clients in person if I still have to at that point, which is, I still, I still, I really do enjoy it. I do, I do enjoy training, training people in person, right? Uh, but I mean, after that, it's going to be a question of math, right? In the sense that if I make enough money, if I make, if my hourly rate becomes really high because of uh, what I do online and stuff like that, then, then, then a lot of people won't necessarily be um, able to afford how much I would be worth an hour, so to speak, right? So uh, we'll see when the time gets there, or maybe I'll just keep a couple of, uh, uh, of good clients that, I've, uh, that I really enjoy working with and who are very motivated and who become friends, you know? But uh, we'll see from there. But all that to say that I believe at this point, you don't need a gym, very minimum equipment, and you can get to uh, get to where you wanna to go get get. You're able to get to where you wanna get to, right? And the minimum requirements that you need for your sport and beyond, you know, um, at the uh, at our level for guys who are 40 years old and uh, who just wanna stay in shape or get back in shape to keep on performing, right? In their sport, you know, I'm not talking if you go into the Olympics. That's another story. If you go into Olympics, you're gonna need a gym. <laughs> Right, because you can build strength much faster that way. That's what uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Size and, and strength, you can build it faster because you, you could progressive overload it much easier. But for my intensive purposes, right, I don't think I need to, man. So that's my answer. No gym needed for me. Not to say no resistance, no gym, right? No, no fancy equipment, no machines and stuff like that. Back body weight, calisthenics, little kettlebell, bands pull a bar, a lot of know-how, and of course I got the dummy there. That's it, man. All right, peace.